on you. Hey, everybody. It's Marge from the Spin Rack. I'm here with the boys, and we're going to be talking about this new show they're going to be having on, um, <laughs> on Netflix. It's called Yasuke, the Black Samurai. The animation is based actually on real life. There were uh, there was a black samurai who came to Japan. Well, he wasn't a samurai, but he came to, to Japan, and he was made a samurai or by Oda Nobunaga, who was one of the great unifiers of Japan. So here, put it on. Of course, if this is an anime, so there's some more fantastical elements. So select it. Play it. You will not know this, and yet he treats you as so. Servants will always be servants. That is our way, the old way. Perhaps the old way should be left in the past. I have been searching for you. I'm just a boatsman. Nothing special about me. This world is full of evil. There is a prophecy. Black will one day come to save the people. I found them. True warrior, above all else, prays for peace. But today, we fight for the future of Japan. The one we wait for. The one who can deliver us victory. Yasuke, the legendary black samurai. Yeah, so what happened? No, no, I mean, I don't want to do the Netflix thing. It's the only thing else with Netflix. Right? So, did you want to see Netflix? No, no, no. It just, uh, just ended really weirdly. That's why. Yeah, that's why I didn't want to go to the subscribe and all that other stuff. Yeah, but thanks to Mars, we got there anyway. Yo, so I mean, look, I'm pretty excited about this. Is a, this is a historical character who we know existed um, during the time of the Warring States periods in Japan. We know that um, that he did work for one of the great unifiers, um, Oda Nobunaga. Um, there's been books written about it, and um, it's it's very interesting. Um, <clears throat> I think they said Chadwick Boseman at one point wanted to portray or be part of this uh, project. So it's uh, it's, yeah. it's pretty interesting um, regarding this. I mean, when you first hear, "Oh, a black samurai," you're like, "Get out of here!" But we forget that in this time period there was also trade between the Jesuits, priests. Um, with the Spanish, Portuguese, with the um, with the, the Japanese, and they're also bringing slaves from from Africa, um, from the west coast of Africa, excuse me, the east coast of Africa, over there. So I mean, it wasn't unknown, but people did see some of them there, and so the meeting actually occurred. It's documented. So I mean, this is probably one of the big hurdles. Oh, that can't believe that happened. But yeah, you know, um, Cal, you want you want to jump into this? You want to say anything in particular because you have a different point of view of whether he's a, a, a well, I, I researched the history for this I researched the history for uh, he's a historical figure I did the research years ago because I actually wanted to do a comic book based on you know I was just you know doing some research and I found oh you know Black Samurai so let me go some more into this as the history went you know I believe he was a I think he was a slave to somebody Portuguese yeah. and you know as one priest. thing leads to another he actually ends up being a uh, given, if you will, to the Japanese. And so he remains there and he becomes, say, the bodyguard of, uh, I can't, I forget Oda how to pronounce Oda it. Oda Right, exactly, exactly that. And he's with them until the very end. And then I believe he marries and he goes off and he's pretty much lost to history. But I don't know if he was officially ever a samurai. That's what I'm, that's what I'm not 100% sure of. Now, you know, Technically, even officially, if you're a bodyguard to a guy of that stature, you would be a samurai. You would be his retainer. So that's how that would work. That's how that would always work. But in the same breath, he's a foreigner. So I'm not sure if that exactly, I'm not sure how that worked. I'm really not sure how that worked at the end of the day. And I don't want to call him, I don't, I don't want to just, you know, if, if it happened, that would be like, great. You know, I would love to tell that type of story and love to see that type of story. But if it's not, I just I, won't, I don't want to call him a samurai. And then at the end of the day, it's like, oh, well, not really. 
at the, you know, at, you know, at the, you know, you just try to, you know, you have to take it, you know, with a big grain, with a big grain of salt. So I've never, I was never able to definitively answer if he was actually a samurai. I mean, so there's some, there's, there's interesting that you said that, but the key thing is that samurais were basically um, military retainers of the their lords. And yes, he did, he was one, he did fight in battles. He did fight um, for um, Nobunaga's family and um, for Nobunaga himself. So that alone is a warrior or a bodyguard he did um, in the classic sense of what the, the word samurai would be. But in terms of, did he have the same full, um, because he wasn't Japanese. I don't think from what I've read, he didn't have, he didn't have I think the swords, all the, 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 the same exact ornamentation as them. But I mean, I, the very fact that he even rose to be uh, one of the retainers for um, one of the, the, the bodyguards for a high Lord, such as the Nobunaga family is in and of itself interesting because it was extremely, extremely rare. It wasn't something that was done normally, you know, but Nobunaga was definitely known for um, having, um, more modern concepts relative to, 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 to some of his other Japanese, um, I guess, enemies or opponents, because he's one of the ones who was a big proponent of, 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 um, of um, using guns and fighting and stuff like that and, and different tactics. So yeah, it kind of makes sense that he would be someone who would be interested in that. Um, he also had his own home, which was also given to him by uh, Nobunaga, you know, and he was also given, a, a, I believe, a, a sword or a, knife, a dagger from him also. So those are type of the, the, some, some of the standard things that you'd have if you were a retainer of uh, a samurai. So I he, mean, was given, uh, he was officially given like a daipo, a, a katana, he was given a wakisake. No. Huh? I, I, I don't know how far that went. No, I don't know if he, went, he got everything. Oh, no. That's, because... that's the distinction I'm trying to make. You know, he got some, but not everything, you know. Um, the way that it was supposed to, most of the samurai were already lords, okay? And then of course, they had guys under them. They had their own retainers, okay? And these would have been not necessarily lords, but you know, you know, they would have still, they would have still been factored in. It was the same, like the same situation you would have had in England or across Europe where you had to be knighted. Somebody official had to knight you, and that brought you and that would bring you in. With this, Again, I was just never able to definitively find something that said, yes, this actually happened. Or this guy just said, hey, this, this is my slave. He's your now, and he's going to be your bodyguard. And that was, you know, that was what happened. So I was never able to definitively answer that question. It's one of the reasons I abandoned the project, because I didn't want to do something and just go because I had found some stuff on the internet and thought it would be cool. I wanted to be definitively certain that that was the case if I was going to tell that story. Yeah, I see. So there is some confusion exactly of what's going on there. So I mean, there, there is depending just because you're an armed warrior, are you also considered a samurai at the time? And so it, it depends. There's been some 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 questions about that too. So yeah, I, I could see that. But also there was a book, you know. Oh, yeah. So the thing is, the key thing is that you definitely have an armed um, warrior in that period, in one of the classical periods of, of Japan, and he makes it again, once again, to to, to be. Um, one of the warriors, retainers, bodyguards, or one of their, their great unifiers, you know, one of the three great unifiers, you know. So uh, there's a great show on Netflix concerning the whole um, Warring States period. I suggest you watch it when you get a chance. You know, it'll help you inform a little bit about who Oda Nobunawa was and, you know, what happened to him and, you know, Toyotomi had the issue. And then, of course, um, oh, you, you mean that recent series that they just had on Netflix? Yeah. So was yeah, that was that was good. That was good. Excellent. That was, actually, that was actually very good. The history on that was very good. It was very tight. Very good. You know, so to, and of course the final unifier Tokugawa Ayesu, who basically had the shogunate until basically they were overthrown. Um, you know, when the the Americans came. No, oh, they didn't come right then, but shortly afterwards, the Meiji Restoration. So I say, hey, if you have a chance, I think this is very interesting from what I've seen. Um, I'd watch it, you know. You say always you like the trailer. I like the history. Do you like the trailer? Oh yeah, yeah. You know, I like it. You know, I always find the stories like when you find that oh, there were Vikings in North America. People are like, no, there's no possible way. These things happened, you know. And people forget that people moved all over the world in different places. Um, I think it was just what's his name? This um, famous um, guy, a uh, Muslim guy named Ibn Battuta, who, who, who went from, um, from from one part of the world to Africa. He went to Mecca. He went to 
to, to Persia and stuff like that. And, you know, famous, he traveled all over the world and people don't know about this, only certain groups of people. So just like Marco Polo, people didn't believe he went all the way to China and came back, you know, but people were coming from different ethnic groups, um, going from different parts of the world, places he didn't expect them because number one was trade or religion um, or they were teachers or they wanted to find out about different things. I always find those type of things um, fascinating, you know? I mean, okay, Alexander the Great supposedly um, he went and all the way to India, you know, and his, his Alexander the Great is, is such an integral, well, not integral part, but a, you find him in the histories of the Indians in North, Northern India for him being there. You find him in, in Islamic histories. You find him in Persian, of course, because he was through there. It's, it's, it's indelible. You know, you have him also in, in um, Egypt. And of course, in Western, the Western history, he, so, he looms so huge. And, you know, he was so, all over the place. So you're saying that all, all the stuff that happened, even the last samurai, Tom Cruise could have made it there too, right? Of course he could have made it. That was after the fact. That's when they were they were building. Yeah. No, I mean, <laughs> they, had, they had they had they had trainers, and that's what he was. He was a trainer. We we're going there. I mean, Japan is amazing that they basically did a crash course. They were so isolationist, and then they opened up their um their country, and like in forty. 40 to 60 years, they were like almost, they were, they were, they were trying to take over their neighbors. So, I mean. Think of, what, who do you have to thank for that? You got to thank Commodore Perry. You show up, you show up in the, you show up in their harbor with that type of weaponry. They're like, okay. Yeah, I think we're a little behind in the times. <laughs> right, but, most, but most people fall, most, most people, most countries will just fall in the next, next year, they, they, they're new, they're the new colony. The Japanese are like, whoa, hold on. We got to re reevaluate, and then they send people all over the world and said, "Hey, this is what they're doing. This is what they're doing." And you have to have leadership that comes in, internalize it, and actually starts using it. You know, say, "Well, we can't. We're so far behind. We need to get our butts take. We need to, to get our butts right." You know. So yeah. But listen, I say this trailer is very fascinating. I think this um is based, like I said, on history. You know, I mean, he's not the only African who was in Japan at that time. Um, unfortunately, the slave trade brought some in there also, but he's one who's recorded. That, that, that made it to such a, uh, as a retainer, a bodyguard, a warrior, depending on however you look at it, he was there too, okay? okay. So uh, I say, check it out when you can. Spin a rack. Out. Uh, sorry, P, I didn't even give you a chance to talk. Did you, you want to say anything? I didn't say much, but, um, and you cut me off as, as, as always, but um, <laughs> no, it looks like exciting trailer. I'm not usually one for the heavy, I don't want them to go, but I guess this goes in the tradition of like how graphic these, these sort of uh, martial arts and um, like sword play can lead to a lot of blood, the court of blood technique. So, um, I mean, this is sort of what people like to see. So um, let's see, let's check it out and let's meet back again and review it. Yeah. I mean, you guys remember the whole Afro Samurai? Yes, yes. yes. That's something that, um, I don't know if it was taken from this at all, but I, I think it's like, when I first saw it, I was like, what the hell is this? But it was like, it was cool. I said, this is different. You know what I'm trying to say? It was different. So I said, let's rock with it. That was cool. Just unfortunately, just didn't have a lot of legs. No, it didn't have a lot. But I mean, it just shows you the, 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 the fact that, you know, African-Americans, particularly, um, they, they love that type of stuff. I mean, from the Bruce Lee, I mean, one of the biggest, uh, we love that whole Asian martial arts. So we love the whole military um, thing that they had. And it was very popular, very popular genre. I don't know why people don't when they do some of these they don't always say hey you know there's a there's a market for you like those bruce lee films people loved it you know those samurai films i grew up loving them too you know <laughs> you know off the hook of course western well, you know if you, have, saw, if you saw the wu-tang um the tv series they talk about like in the in the doc they kind of talk about they've already using the shaolin and wu-tang were actual drinks it wasn't just areas they were like Oh, when you put those two together, like the, the, you know, that was sort of a drink that they had, and they argued <laughs> about who came up with using those sort of terms. But when you see the, you see the um, the, the TV show, and I think Ghostface talks about it that his two brothers are paraplegics, but they would be up in front of the screen watching the karate movies, and they and those kids would be cynical, but like. Come on, this is dumb. And the next thing was like, nah. And, and Ghostface is explaining it to them. He's like, this part here and this. And then they kind of did different things where they were talking. They took the, the movies, they redid them, and they did them with slang at times. They did them straight, nope. they did them slang. They did a whole bunch of fun stuff with them. But then having people at home watching that stuff, 
it goes back to our childhood of just sitting back watching it, arguing with each other, that sort of thing, fighting. Yeah, I know. That's that's cool. I like that. So um, anything else, um, Cal, you want to contribute? Yes, I know you keep telling me I'm the greatest. I keep telling you that's enough. No. No, absolutely no. not. <laughs> so, all right. So, gents, thanks. Um, I look as though we're interested in seeing this. Spinner rack. Out. 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 Hey, bro.